Your Eminency, welcome to New York. I would say what a chutbah. We just came out of uh, uh, Friday prayer, Juma prayer, and you delivered uh, somehow uncommon chutbah uh, to the brother Muslims here, big community here at the United Nations. You talk actually about the topics that are uh, co of concern of the United Nations. What can you tell us about that? What, why did you choose to talk about that? Uh, first of all, thank you for, for giving me a chance to, to speak on your uh, Bosnian television in the United States and would like to congratulate uh, to you uh, on what you have achieved uh, so far here. It is, of course, a great privilege to deliver a khutbah at the United Nations with uh, great uh, uh, dignitaries of the diplomatic corps and even I heard that uh, there were some foreign ministers of some Muslim countries here. Uh, of course, uh, I believe that there are uh, uh, three main concerns of the whole of the humanity today, and that is the question of uh, global warming, uh, the uh, hunger in the world, and se uh, peace and security. And this is wha uh, what the uh, United Nations is all about. So I could not uh, probably uh, focus on all of these three issues, but I think that the global warming or uh, the condition in our environment uh, is the most uh, important issues that I hope that the United Nations will take seriously in 20th century regarding a clean, clear air or enough air and also uh, enough and clean water and uh, of course uh, enough uh, and uh, healthy food uh, that uh, we deserve to have in the world. So uh, as you may notice uh, that what most we need we, we most have or more than other things like air and we have more air than water but we have more water than food because we cannot live without air uh, even one minute. Uh, we can uh, live without water more th than without food. So this uh, balance that has created by God, we have to keep somehow and not to destroy. Unfortunately, we are the only, only living organism in this universe that is uh, self-destructive in con comparison to other living organisms in this universe. We have to learn how to survive and to survive we have to use our mind and our reason. And I really hope that even the dignitaries of the United Nations, uh, Mr. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, will hear this hutba somehow. Uh, we will try to present that through the media. But let me ask you also, you came to America with a special mission, actually. This year, somehow, there is 520th anniversary of the Jewish-Bosnian friendship. What can you tell us about that? Uh, this is uh, interesting. Uh, and. Uh, even for me, I did not plan to come to United States these days, but uh, there was an initiative from Chicago uh, Bosniak uh, Jewish uh, Friendship who asked me to come uh, for the occasion of uh, 520th anniversary of the Jewish Bosnian Friendship uh, based on uh, 1493 year uh, when uh, the Jews uh, came to Sarajevo from Spain uh, uh, bringing with them their uh, Haggadah, which is known today as the Sarajevo Haggadah. I accepted this invitation and uh, they uh, uh, got me the idea uh, to somehow to uh, go and visit uh, my, uh, the Jewish friends around the world uh, and, especially, and to visit institutions that are concerned about the Jewish heritage and, and Holocaust. So. Uh, the advisory committee uh, for here in Washington, uh, when they heard that uh, I am coming, uh, planning to come, they were uh, kind enough to say we will sponsor and organize this visit together with the Islamic Culture, Cultural Center in Chicago. And this is why I am here. And uh, I must tell you that this is the first visit of mine to United States uh, organized by my Bosniak community. Uh, for the purpose uh, to uh, uh, greet or to meet 
uh, other uh, people than Bosniaks. Uh, we, uh, and today we had a, uh, basically yesterday, we had a meeting with uh, Rabbi Schneier in New York. We uh, uh, shared with him all memories that we had uh, during uh, the uh, aggression against our, uh, our Bosnia-Herzegovina and post-war recovery. And also today we visited the museum, in uh, Jewish Heritage Museum, and uh, a memory on Holocaust and spent a, a valuable time with Director David whom we invited to come this year on the occasion of the uh, Potocari 11th of July, uh, inshallah. And I wanted to ask you just as a follow-up to the, uh, what was specific. Uh, you addressed that uh, issue that is of concern of Bosniaks like this, concern for, for years now for the Jewish people all over the world, uh, of denying those who are denying genocide or Holocaust. Uh, I'm sure, although I didn't uh, uh, follow everything, but uh, that you found some common ground, some common words, I would say. Also. Well, uh, you see, we humans uh, uh, may offer or may afford some injustice, but we humans cannot accept untruth. You uh, uh, may do me injustice, but I do not accept that you impose on me untruth and denying of genocide and holocaust is uh, harder for victims uh, sometimes than the suffering itself and these people who are who inclined to do uh, evil to other people they know that they are hurting uh, uh, the victims of uh, Holocaust and genocide by denying the truth about Holocaust and genocide. You know that the Jewish people are struggling because of this uh, denial of Holocaust. And we, I personally thought that this is not going to be the case with us. Unfortunately, you know that Dodik, especially, he is denying genocide openly and therefore uh, several years, I found uh, very uh, uh, useful for me to be uh, one of those uh, who are supporting the idea of Aladdin project that is uh, made by UNESCO uh, with an aim to uh, uh, face or to fight and encounter the deniers of Holocaust. Uh, those who deny Holocaust and genocide, they are doing basically again, uh, again, Holocaust and, and uh, genocide again and uh, uh, by they denying they are showing that they are capable to repeat Holocaust and genocide again. So we might want to make sure and this is why we want to be together with uh, uh, the uh, Aladdin project and with all Jewish organizations around the world who are fighting the uh, denial of Holocaust, we think that it is our place with them to fight together with them the denial of both Holocaust and genocide against my people in Bosnia. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, uh, for your precious time, and we wish you all the best with your endeavor and with your mission. Thank you very much. Well, it's a pleasure.